Kaz Films, uh, Catching feel, uh, Feelings and Matwetwe at the Cape Town International Film Festival in October at the VMA Waterfront from the 12th to the 21st. So Catching feeling, Feelings will be first premiered at the uh, uh, Los Angeles Film Festival and it also premiered in New York at the Urban World Film Festival. Matwetwe will screen on the 18th of October after recently returning from Fantastic Fest, the biggest genre festival in America. But to tell us more about these films we joined uh, in our studios in Johannesburg by an actor and director in the film Kahiso Lidiha himself. But Kahiso, good morning to you and thank you so Hello. much for coming through. Thank you, Palisa. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much indeed. It's good to see you more so after Pure Monati show. I think that's the last time some of us, you know, got to see oh, you. Oh, you guys gotta watch television, man. <laughs> um, you gotta be more up. Sorry, this is the earliest I've been out in a long time. They say never trust a comedian who wakes up before 9 a.m. So this is <laughs> Mm. So are you not a morning person, basically? No, no, no. Mm. I mean, when you shoot, you have to be up at like five in the morning. But we are, this yeah. is not regular for me. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we understand. Mm -hmm. We'll try to accommodate you. It's but fine. I was, I was, the I coffee was, was good. You guys have good coffee here. I was hoping for a chrat pinyan. It's Thursday today. I'm off duty, sorry. You're off duty today. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we're just going to keep it formal. Just like that, yeah. <laughs> keep it going. Keep <laughs> moving. Keep <laughs> Let's start with Catching fe Feelings. Um, obviously, that was your first debut as, as a director, and uh -huh. I know that you've always wanted to be a film director uh -huh. based in New York, Noch Al. Those types of things, yeah. yeah. Hey, how did you know all no, this I stuff? know. No, good. That's great research <laughs> for you. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was a cool film. It has, like, um, stars, cool people. Ke Pearl Tusi, Akin Omoto Show, uh, Andrew Buckland, Kate Licorice. It was a fun film to make, you know. Mm -hmm. um, made it, at, I think we started, we, sh we shot June last year and okay. then obviously it takes long to finish. And then we shot the second film over December, no. which was also quite rock and roll. Mm. Mm. All right, we're going to get to Matuete, but okay. let's just talk about catching films. Yeah. Feelings, I beg your pardon. What does it talk about? It talks about, uh, well, sex, politics, just general adult themes, mm. you know, living in Johannesburg, those kind of things. It's a comedy. It's mm. very funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how, how has the reception been thus far overseas? It's been good. Uh, we had the screen at, at the LA Film Festival in June and then at Urban World um, in New York a few, two weeks ago. A week ago, two weeks, I don't even know. It was great. It's great. I mean, it's like, because you always think that, they, you know, you put the film in front of people and they'll watch it like an interesting thing, you know? Yeah. Probably an interesting anthropological study of Africans. But it was funny. They got all the gags. Everything that I wrote translated onto screen. and then So they got into, to understand. Yeah, it yeah. was cool. So what do you call it? Is it a romantic dramedy? You can say Is that, that what you call it? Call it the, so it's drama, call it comedy. Cool film. Call it the funny movie. Okay. Yeah. So it's a funny movie. Yeah, it's cool, but it's also kind of very serious. It's got serious themes in it and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. it's quite a, yeah, it's not like a laugh out loud, but maybe it is for mm -hmm. some. Mm -hmm. Who knows? All right. Now, Madwetwe, how different is it from Catching Feelings? No, this is way different. It's like from, oh, there's Catching Feelings. If you're watching on the screen, yeah. there's like Clip, there's Andrew Best, Buckland. It's very sexy, that film, you know, it's very cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Even if you have to say so yourself. There's Luis Ogola, there's me crossing the street with Pearl Tusi, that's like Joburg. I'm also trying to kind of showcase Joburg as a cool place to live. But what do you mean it's sexy? What's, what, what do you mean by saying sexy? It is cool. It's like we talk about cool things. You know, sexy is not just what about sex, cool. but it also has like sexual content in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's not like actual like, you know, well, mm. nudity and actual, well, they, they, they look. Mm. That's very sexy. That's sexy image right there. <laughs> Boom. Sorry for that in the morning in Africa, <laughs> South Africa. That was like side <laughs> Movie action of Pearl Tusi there. Yeah. There we go. Um, and, and, I'm just seeing a woman. About sex over there. Oh, are they? Sex. Okay. Yeah. And, and um, uh, so it's about this guy who's kind of like very scary. He brings this professor into his house, this very kind of world celebrated professor. And then uh, this guy is like quite one of those hard livers. You know, he's yeah. like, he's really, he's that guy. And then he's scared and worried that maybe this guy and his wife are having a thing behind them. Huh? Okay. Are they? Cool. Only we watch the film okay, and you'll no, find we'll, we'll get to and watch it. on the other hand, is like a stoner. It's a crime caper. It's like a, these two kids, it's end of the year, and they, it's like, it happens over New Year's. It's, it's set in Atridgeville in mm -hmm. Pretoria. It's like a movie a pittori, as hey, we call it. Okay. And they, this kid, he has to go to university. You know, the university is about to start. He needs to raise money. So he's going to go study botany. And then we discover that for the, for the whole year or mm -hmm. for a period leading up to this moment, he's been ra like growing weed, mm -hmm. that he, the most unbelievable weed called matuetue, matuetue. which he's going to sell to pay for his tuition. Oh. Which we, maybe it's, maybe 
maybe it'll inspire people out there to pay maybe. for their tuition using all sorts of skills. Yeah. And I'm, I, not, I'm not I'm advocating crime, yeah. but hey, you got to do what you got to do. All right, and I, I think I was reading somewhere about Matuto itself. M many South Africans are very impressed by the fact that you, you're featuring an albino saying that they think that it will actually get to convey a, a certain message about about that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, 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 you know, because obviously people mm. in, in Africa, there's a bad kind of, yeah, they believe that albinos will, mm. I don't know, kill yeah. witchcraft and kill bad. It's they like weird, right? you die, see other people yeah. and you're like, that guy, if I cut him up, I'm going to be like you. What the hell? <laughs> He's a human being. Um, yeah, and that's like uh, when we were auditioning these, uh, the, the actors, this one guy, um, um, Tevato, he was very funny, very cool, very confident kind of guy. He actually reminded me of Eminem a little bit, and I thought he'd be a great character. Yeah. So, I mean, you know. Okay. And it, it, it was a bonus that he, it was also, like, because of all of that stigma against albinos. Yeah. Uh, I've, you know, it will be cool to see this guy in, like, kind of this heroic character. There he you know, is on the screen. That's there him. He He's is. very funny. He's so Soki cool. Tebato. Tebato, okay. yeah. And that other guy is called Subu. Subu Siso Quinana. That's my mom. My mom is in the film. Your mom is also in the yeah, film? Yeah. You know, so we, there's nepotism in that film? Huh? There's nepotism in that film. There's what? Nepotism. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, well if you're going to make the film on such short notice with sort of limited resources, that was what will happen. My sister, people, everybody, all my films have like people that, you know, I work yeah. with all the time. If you watch Catch and Feelings, like we were watching in New York and there were people who know us, for, you know, and they were like, yeah, oh, that's so and so. That's, you know, yeah. like a pointy, that's that guy, that's this guy. Anyway. All yeah. right. No. So when are we seeing them here in South Africa? When are they showing? Dude, next week at the Cape Town Film Wat Wat Festival, International Festival. <laughs> uh, you've heard about this thing. It's new. It's the first year ever. Um, I'm going to show two movies, which is, I never thought I'd have two movies back to back like that. Yeah. So next month, uh, next week, uh, they're going to be there. And then Catch and Feelings comes out in uh, cinemas in March. Matueto doesn't have distribution yet, but we know how we want to show it to people. It's going to be um, a screening in Bramfontein at the oh. end of the month in the alleyway. They're going to block up a street. It's going to be oh. very cool. It's going to be rock nice. We're going to have all yeah. the cast and everything who never acted in the film before, a lot of them. Wow. Very talented theatre actors, extremely right. talented. Okay. People. We'll leave it at that. Thank you so much. Well, why are we leaving at that? Because why of time. Just, time constraints. Well, what's up? Where's everybody okay, going? You know what just what, what happens after this? <laughs> just okay. hold it right there. Okay. Uh, uh, Leanne, <laughs> I know you've got to go to Zambia now. <laughs>